Welcome, Matt from Extreme Auto Caravan and Camping with you again. Huge off-grid setup once again. This one's a beast. I'll give you the rundown. So, got the Victron 3000 Multi Plus 2 inverter charger here running on all the factory outlets, including the air conditioner, which we're running right now. It's hot in the Riverland at the moment. 560 amp hours of custom Australian-made lithium batteries from Powerpop. Beautiful batteries, really love them. We've got two Victron Smart Solar Controllers in this one, um, and I'll explain why in a minute. We've got the Red Arc 40 amp DC to DC charger in the front compartment, just in front of these batteries um, in the boot area, next to the factory system. That's for the Anderson plug, so we can charge while he's driving along at a rate of 40 amps, which is really, really good and as well as another Victron solar controller, which is around the side, I'll show you guys shortly, for a portable solar panel. Um, we're using that instead of the Red Arc on this one because the customer wanted to monitor his portable solar separately to these. Um, you know, the Red Arc doesn't have Bluetooth as of yet, maybe one day it will. Um, so he's able to monitor that solar controller separately. So in total, three solar controllers on this one, guys all running networked, so they all talk to each other to you know, match their charging um, parameters, so they all move from float to bulk to absorb as they should. Now, with solar, huge. Now, this came factory with two 200s on the roof of this, and they're actually installed pretty well, right up in the corner, you know, like away from shade. So I've rewired them and put them through a separate solar controller now. So instead of going through the factory BM Pro system, which is on those spay terminals and you know it's, it's horrible it's never charges as good as one of these um so i've wired it through this and i'm getting more power out of it now which is great so there's 400 watts going through this one or two two 200 watt panels and we've strung up another four 200 watt cells through the 50. so 1200 watts of solar on this guys that's six 200 watt panels on this one huge huge amounts of power that's enough to keep up with the air conditioner during peak hours and charge the battery with good good power at the same time. Now that's that's unheard of on most 20 foot vans. You know, that's that's what you want and that's where it's at. To be able to charge while running the air conditioner during the day, that's when you want your air conditioner on, you're not making an impact on your battery capacity. So if you wake up and it's, you know, your batteries are, I don't know, 80% and you turn your AC on at, you know, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, well, they're still gonna be at the same level probably a little bit higher and full by maybe two, three o'clock in the Arvo. That's brilliant. To be able to run an air conditioner and charge your batteries at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> really cool. I'm super stoked about this one. So with the 560 amp hours of lithium, because he's got such a really, really good amount of lithium, and this has got the um, Dometic Ibis 4, the inverter style AC, these will ramp sort of between it's between 40 and 70 amps an hour if you want to talk in amps here. So if we're talking of that number, you know, if you've got 560 in, in the capacity, you know, if it's stinking hot at, I don't know, 12 at night or one in the morning, you know, run the AC. You could still run it all day. It's got that much power in this thing. Whatever you take from this battery is going to be replenished super fast from this 1200 watt system on the roof. I mean, that's, that's huge power, guys. I'm actually charging right now at about a 10 amp rate maybe 12 amps, and I've got that AC on 16 with four fan. So we've got reasonable sun here today. It's it's high level cloud, but it's enough to really, I'm keeping up and still charging. So you can imagine what it would be in full peak sun, amazing. So once again, guys, all the Victron solar controllers all talking with each other, 1200 watts on the roof. We've got the Victron Multi Plus inverter charger running on all the factory outlets, microwave, your outside outlets, induction cookers, the full works. These guys have a Thermomix they wanna run, no problem, run it anywhere, anytime. Uh, 560 amp hours of lithium, like I said, and everything's all tied in neatly. So we've done a battery relocation and a um, you know redo of the master fuses, as you can see here. So th this runs the factory BM Pro system and it runs on top of that system. So this is an overlay system. So that means it runs on top of the factory system, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, these guys have not opted for the Victron battery monitor. Um, that could be done later. But instead, they've opted for this, and this is why this is kind of ugly here. 
they've opted for the um, the BM Pro. This is the BC300. What this is, it's a um, this is a shunt that's allowed. It's an external shunt that's allowing the factory system to read it and monitor whatever I push or pull from it up to about 250 amps. So not bad. So I'm able to monitor the inverter, obviously the DC charger, and all my solar controllers through this shunt, and it will talk to the factory Odyssey screen or Trek the screen, whichever ones you guys have. It's an external shunt. I'm I'm not sold on them. I'll tell you why. Mainly, mainly from what it shows you up on the screen. It's very simple, all right? It only shows you simple stuff, which is fine for most people, but I'm a bit of a tech and data head. I, I love data. I want to see history. I want to see average discharge. I want to see cycles. You know, I want to see voltage. I want to, I want to see graphs um, that I can show to people and see what things are doing. This one here will only show you discharge, charge, voltage, temperature, time remaining, um, but I can't set the parameters on it for how it reads the batteries. So I can't take into account different factors like charge efficiency. Um, you know, they're all preset when you set the lithium profile in the BM Pro. Um, I'm sure you could get hold of the parameters that when you select lithium as a setting, what it defaults it to. I'm sure it's accurate, however, like I said, I like to see every little number. I like full programmability of it. So that's the only thing different on this one than most of the ones I do. It's just running a, um, a factory integrated external shunt. So yeah, you're still able to see time remaining and how many amps something's pulling. Um, there is a delay with it, and that's the other thing to note. So because this is Bluetooth and this works wirelessly between this and the base, it, it's, it must send packets of data. Um, you know, it's not a continuous stream, so to speak. So it sends packets of data because whenever I turn on the microwave, there's a bit of a lag between what is shown on the screen and what the microwave is drawing. And we all know microwaves pull, you know, over 100 amps an hour um, at 12 volts. So, you know, when I hit the microwave, which you guys will see, you'll see the lag. And it's a few, few seconds. I, I think it's about 10, 15 seconds. I've had it as long as up to 30 seconds. It's all to do with this talking to the base. So. Once again, guys, I would be leaning on the Victron battery monitor purely for, um, you know, it's it's got its limitations, and it, yeah, it's, it is what it is. But for that, guys, everything else here is hunky-dory. This is all set to go. They can build a sort of division around here so they can still utilize this front section here. Plenty of cross ventilation here, vents on this side. Got a ball rush bearing there, um, a fan there with, you know, pulling air from the top of the controllers out. These are the things that are gonna get warm the most because they're always on. Um, the inverter charger, this will barely ramp up, but this has got a, a you know, convection fan that'll pull air through and shoot out through the side. So I've had this running pretty much most of the day now, and I had this down for a fair whack of the day, a good three hours, and yeah, the temperature only went up about three or four degrees. So very happy with that, running it under full load. So as I said, guys, I've got the AC running again, got on a 16, running on about three fan. Um, yeah, she's cold, she's ramped right up. So that's running pretty much flat out now oh the sun's come out again good so there we go so remember what i said to you guys it, it is very limited to what it shows you as far as um battery information is concerned it, it's just kind of gonna flick between this obviously we're you know cruising through cloud here and sun's coming in and out as you can see the sky today um it is about lunchtime though guys so we are in peak sun um, but yeah, with a high level cloud, it's kind of in and out. But I just want to show you what the settings can do. So like I said, I'm running the AC here. Um, obviously I'm receiving close to it, but see the lag now, it's full sun at the moment. She's just flashed behind the, behind the cloud there. So we were charging a moment ago at 10 amps. So 10 was coming in and that moved up the charging. But that's it, that's all I've got. I've, I've got nothing else. It's very simple. It's um, but hey, you know, you wanna know how long remaining at the current usage? Oh, it's getting brighter now. You wanna see how many amps you're pulling or charging at? It's three numbers there, which is easy to read, and you can work from that, and there we go. The sun's come out a bit more now. Cool. So like I said, guys, running the AC and charging the batteries at the same time here. I'll bring it down, and these are the only settings you got, you know, like, where are we? So there's the external shunt that I spoke about. There's the value of your capacity of your battery. I can't set any discharge flaws on this. You know, I can't set any alarms. Um, and you, you just set the battery profile, that's it. So very simple, 
what you can do. Um, but look, here's our numbers. So I've been running the air conditioner now for about four hours. Just running this one now. Okay, it's about 16, yeah. It's still charging, guys. Look at that. That's what um, over a thousand watts or 1200 watts will do on the roof is able to charge and run an air conditioner at the same time. Super cool. Now, um, microwave. Yeah, why not? Microwave, air conditioner at the same time. Now watch this lag. Obviously we're not charging, we can't be. Because I'm running that microwave and the air conditioner's on. There it is. So there's there's that lag, guys. Alright, um Yeah. It is what it is. But that's the factory BM Pro system using that shunt when you put a big inverter on it or a big solar system, yeah, there is a lag. But take note of what we're pulling. I'm running a microwave and an air conditioner. I'm only pulling 80. How good's that? That is running on 16. You can all see that. Microwave's running. You guys have seen all the other videos. You know what the Victron's capable of and these batteries are capable of. They can run multiple items at the same time without, without an issue. As that voltage, guys? Check it out. How, how well is that holding? Um, beautiful from the lithiums from PowerPole there. They just they just do a great job. I got the fridge on too as well. You know, it's a it's an old compressor fridge. This one, so this would be running as well. Yeah, she's on at the moment. Yeah, beautiful. And there we go. Now you can see it's a bit a bit cumbersome to fit as well. The BC three hundred it has to go on top of the battery. You know, like we did think about moving that and you know putting it down like I would a, an external shunt. You know, like the Victron one or the Cymarine, but there's just no way to do it. These run like a through bolt and a threaded, um, you know, set point there. So, yeah, it had to go there. There was no other choice. And it's also got the temperature sensor for the uh, positive pickup for it. And it uh, needs to be within range of the, the actual main unit as well. So that's, that's as good as that's going to get there. But there we go. There's the two solar controllers. So one's covering the larger array. There's the 50. There's the 30. Um, there's the Multi Plus. You got your master fuses all through here now, all lined up. That's all been relocated from outside. That just had like sort of ugly looking fuses on it. And you know, we've been on this job twice now as so we've done a diesel heater, nervous patch diesel heater. Got the wide tire alarm system with the GPS tracking on this one. It's a quick addition guys. Oh, missed it. <laughs> Sun came out for a few seconds behind that cloud and it hit 26 amps on top of running the air conditioner <laughs> i should turn this off and see what we get up to turn the ac off how good is that that's all from solar guys 76.7 amps from the sun <laughs>